Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Adam here with Indy Farm Life. So I have a question, where's all the water? Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here we sit two thirds of the way through August and the pond looks pretty good until you start looking a little closer to the shoreline. I say where all the water go because in April, the water was right at the base of that overflow. Now, it's about four feet away from it. And if we drop down to check out that elevation difference, and I'll actually do this with the tape before this video is over, we've lost every bit of six, maybe eight inches off this pond. And that's to be expected when you don't have any kind of natural spring feeding your pond. But things have been made all the worse by the fact that it's been 90 plus degrees for the last 10 days or so. We've had probably not more than a quarter inch of rain in the last six weeks. And this week's no different. Today it was 93, the same tomorrow, I think 95 on Wednesday. And the next seven days are above 90 with no more than about a 20% chance of rain. And that 20% never seems to pan out. So despite that large body of water there, I wanted to share with everyone just how dry things are. This is that cut where I drained the pond into a pond. If you didn't watch that, go back and watch it. It's, it was incredible how much water was out there. But when uh, the rains come, we do see this thing running. I'll run back to the back real quick and show you the area that usually holds water that is now bone dry. So this obviously leads to a larger question of how are you going to keep this thing full long term? And I don't know if I know the answer to that. Thinking about running some field tile on the acreage north of the pond out here, and here's the area that's usually wet and it's not. Or trying to redirect some watershed, but don't quite know the answer. But we're gonna run a science experiment. I'm gonna put a stake in the water now, which is a Monday evening, and we're gonna see how many inches we lose this week. I bet it's measurable and how much we lose in evaporation this week. There's another clay tile there that typically brings water into the pond. Also bone dry. I will say that pond eye makes it look pretty cool when you see the different depths of the water. A light blue here and much darker out there. I don't know if the camera grabs that or not, but it's ocean-like to some extent. But one fun little tidbit here, and I don't know if I'll do this or not, but I was doing the math because I was curious. We have a constant pressure well system at our house capable of pumping about 22 gallons a minute so in theory we could use that to top off the pond and by my math it costs about 50 bucks to run it 24 7 for a week and that'd come out to about just shy of a quarter million gallons of water and for the surface area of our pond would bring it up eight plus inches will i do that probably not but it's always something to have in your back pocket if ever needed so i stuck three stakes in that one's just barely lipping the water there and right there in that rock, I wiped off my muddy sandals. So if that's still there, you guys know we didn't have rain. There's the second one. And then the third one is, well, I'm not going to be lazy. I'll walk over there. Just in case anyone's out here and they decide to pull them for whatever reason. Thought three was a better choice. But there's the third one. So we'll check back and see where he's at in a couple days. If I was a bet man, I bet they'll still be in the pond. But you know what I mean. Still really pretty, just a little low on water. Oh look, the backhoe. And check out my wagon after I got it all fixed up. Nothing with the red, but I painted the white on the outside. And my wheels. And I'll show you guys the inside after I rebuild it. I'll link that video above, but looks sharp. Ready to move some dirt. All right, back to your normal schedule programming. Here we are on day two. Looks like it, the water pulled back from that stake a little bit and over here, but more importantly, we're getting this torrential downpour right now. As you can see right now, the sky is just terribly dark and I'd imagine by tomorrow morning, the pond will be up a foot or two. Not even enough to settle the dust or clean all the dirt off big green here. So we'll wait and see how things progress. it's still close but we'll see in a couple days where it's at all right so here we are at the end of the week my complaining about the rain must have done something because wednesday and thursday of this week we got about three tenths of an inch of rain but i don't think that actually did a whole lot for the pond let's take a peek and so the drawback from these stakes isn't drastic but even with three tenths of an inch of rain you can see that it 
it pulled back maybe an inch in linear inches, not vertical. And the same kind of here and over there. But like I said, not drastic. More so I wanted to highlight for you guys how much this has fallen since the springtime. And I just put a tape on that. There it is. Uh, looking more about 10 inches in drop since the spring. So an inch of rain across an acre is about a little over 27,000 gallons of water. And so if you do that math on the 10 inches that I just explained there, and this doesn't even take in consideration anything that went back into filling the pond throughout this period, which we had a pretty good rainy season early on in the summer and spring, that equates to almost 272,000 gallons of water. Think about that for a minute. 272,000 gallons of water and then some have evaporated off this pond in the last two and a half to three months. So as expected, two years in and our pond still is not full. Hasn't been that bad though. We don't have fish, so I'm not too worried about there not being enough water. And let's be honest, there's plenty of water. I'm gonna go out in the middle at some point, maybe this weekend and try to check the depth. But I would venture to say it's at least 19 feet deep out there right now in the deep hole. So we've got plenty of water. But darn it, I just want more. I want this thing to be creeping up on the overflow. Could you imagine when this thing's full, when the water line is flush with the top of that overflow there, the amount of square feet, and you can kind of follow the dirt ring around, that we're going to pick up is insane. This thing is going to look probably 20% bigger than it does now. But unless I start pumping water out of the well, that's probably not going to happen until next spring sometime. So in the meantime, just sit back, hit that subscribe button, come back and see us. Because if you know me by now, you know I'm not going to slow down with my projects. Take care, guys.